As the sun sinks below the horizon tonight, eyes will be fixed on the sky, with spectators admiring a rare astrological event. For the first time since 1967, the longest day of the year, known as the summer solstice, will coincide with the strawberry moon. Despite the name, the moon will not appear pink or red. It is a name given by Native American tribes to the June full moon which they believe signaled the beginning of the strawberry picking season. This year, in a rare occurrence, it will coincide with the summer solstice, already a day steeped in significance for many. Around 25,000 people are expected to gather at Stonehenge in Wiltshire to celebrate the solstice. It is a tradition which has its roots in pagan times, when Midsummer Day was considered to have power. Of those who attend, many are druids, but some are tourists looking to soak up the atmosphere. The way that the stones are positioned at Stonehenge is said to be aligned with sunrises on the two annual solstices, summer and winter. A summer solstice is when the tilt of Earth's axis is most inclined towards the sun, and that is why we get the most daylight of the year. After tonight the days begin to shorten in the northern hemisphere. In London, on the summer solstice, the sun will rise at 4.43 am and set at 9.21 pm. Near Stonehenge in Salisbury, sunrise will be at 4.52 am and sunset will occur at 9.26 pm.